decide to end the round. Uh, wow, a lot of action going on in the middle there. Uh-oh. Ohio State, whoa, Ohio State taking a big lead early on. Already got three of the Townsend players out. Three big players. Yeah, three big players. Wow, and another one out. Uh-oh. Wow, and a catch. Oh, my goodness. You know, Ohio State cannot afford to be a uh, passive this game. You can see them up at the front line. This is just not what they were doing last point because they couldn't. Like, they can't do that passive style this game. They have to win in the next another point in the next t uh, nine minutes. Yeah, and I mean, you know, Ohio State still with their full roster in. Townsend already with five players down. Uh, Townsend's going to have to make a pretty big decision here. You know, again, to be perfectly honest, I know this is more just kind of the way I play dodgeball. I would immediately go into defensive mode as them. Um, you know, make Ohio State regret giving you that point. Uh, and that's what they're doing. You can see them. They're staying on the back line. And that last game, they were not on the back line, like, majority of the entire point. Yeah, and, and you, know, I, I, you know, early in a game, I would never tell a team, you know, I wouldn't say, Score your first point five minutes into the first round. Okay, well, now turtle for the next 30 minutes. No, that's not fun. But I think at this point in the game, you know, all that they stand to do if they're aggressive is tie or lose. Best case scenario for them, they win the game by two more points, which really doesn't right. do much for them. So there's not a lot of impetus for them to be uh, aggressive this round. I'm loving what Ohio State does right now is they're staying, even people that don't have a ball, Uh, oh, okay. so one big law. Where is he? I don't see him on the sideline. O'Connor's right below us, 44. He's right there. Josh, oh, Josh Connor. Right. Okay, there he yeah, goes. Yeah, there Number you go. four, Josh Connor out for Ohio State, one of their power players. But, uh, you know. Ooh. 13. Oh. I will. Josh Raymer spilled his water everywhere, dripping down onto the court. Water. Whoa, another, God, another catch for Ohio State. I'm gonna go take care of this, you guys. Here. Well, he said there was a lid on that thing when I knocked it over and it did not work apparently. Kill there for TJ. Uh, yes, Mr. Albert, 0 0 of Ohio State out now. We have um, Townsend being scrappy this game, that's for sure. And again, we have eight players out for Townsend and two for Ohio State. Um, well, I mean, you got to chip away at this lead. That's all the or chip away at this uh, this deficit that uh, Townsend has put themselves in. Seven minutes left. Seven minutes left in the game. Ooh, I. You know, seven minutes is a long time to yeah. turtle up. Yeah. Ooh, TJ going for a real. Hard throw there. Not getting anything out of it, though. Every time you throw the ball that hard and don't get a kill, it really takes a lot out of you. I mean, it's it's a little demoralizing. Your arm gets more tired. Ugh. You get more and more frustrated. You really want to get as many kills as possible with those with those big arms. So inside of five minutes here, I and you know I think inside of five minutes here, I think we're going to see some big changes. I think Ohio State, because at this point Ohio State could even start sacrificing players. Like, and there, are. there was a good example there. Unfortunately, I didn't catch it. Number 30 for Ohio State made a just absolutely crazy dive trying to catch a throw from Townsend. Um, but inside of five minutes, I think that's when we're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of big action because, wow. 66 so, Wong going down, too. I told you, Townsend is chipping away at this team. And it is, I mean, they had such a big lead well, early. No, and it's Townsend not is chipping away at them, but the reason they're chipping away is Ohio State is trying to catch everything. Uh, they're not making any real attempts at blocks. Uh, they're obviously still putting in some throws, but they are just daring. I mean, even right now, number 54 running up almost to the half court line and just daring one of the Townsend players to throw at him. That's what they're hoping. They're thinking, they're hoping they're going to be able to win this game through catches. Like I said, at five minutes, they're going to stop playing that catching game, and I think they're just going to go all out. Well, they don't have a choice at five minutes, to be honest. They just don't have a choice because eventually, unfortunately, Ohio State just does not have ball control at all. You can see that Townsend has almost every ball on the court. Ohio State is forced to play this way right now. Yeah, um, and you know, I, I'm sure it's been pretty obvious through the course of the broadcast. I'm a big fan of Townsend. Uh, 
you know, I, I've played games against Ohio State before. I've watched some games from Ohio State. This is one of my first time seeing Townsend. And I'm just so impressed with their attitude, their charisma, their teamwork, their communication. Um, so I'm, you know, I, I, as much as I know we're not supposed to do this as broadcasters. Uh, the objective. I, yeah. I, as, an, as a broadcaster, I was objective. But when I woke up this morning, I was looking forward to this game, and I really wanted to see Townsend win because I want to see a team that's this fundamentally good go up against, you know, Grand Valley, up against Saginaw Valley, up against, you know, the big three for college dodgeball. Uh, just to see what they can do. It's going to be so entertaining is why. It's going to be entertaining because there's going to be so much to talk about. Nice catch. Four minutes, 30 seconds. Oh, <laughs> I, God, there's another I, one. I did <laughs> play dodgeball. Let's try that again. Go ahead. Got it. Okay, got it. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dip down below so I can get this. Not a whole lot of water left, but, hey, got to fix it up. Hey, ben, while you're down there. No. Timeout has been called, yes. I didn't see by who or by whom. Yeah. We're going to... Uh, Probably running down the girder. Just running down the girder. It's going to be dripping for a few minutes. <laughs> Getting our water situation set. Yes, there's, not, there's not any water down there now. Just soaked going. through. All right, so Ohio State having a heart-to-heart -heart here. Alex, I asked Jazzy this earlier. What do you think they're talking about during this timeout? What, are the, what, is the, what is the game plan in the last four minutes, five seconds? You know, I think that's when someone, the players on the team, the captain, they've got to make a decision. What are we doing here? Um, we have to decide, are we, you know, at this point, obviously Ohio State can't afford to play any even small amount of defense. At this point, Ohio State has nothing to lose. Towns has everything to lose. So I'd imagine that was something along the lines of, you know, we've got to go out there and we've got to do, you know, we've got to push. So I would say we're going to see Ohio State spend the vast majority of these last four, four and a half minutes inside of the neutral zone. Yeah, uh, unfortunately Townsend has eight balls and Ohio State has two. So there's no option here for Ohio State but to play a little bit passive. That's what Townsend is banking on. You can see them going, hey, I don't want to, I don't, we're not going to throw more than one or two balls at a time. Yeah. And again, if there was 15, 20 minutes left in this game, I would say if Townsend started doing, you know, make one throw every 15 seconds at their feet to run the clock down, I would say that's a bit of a cheap move. But with four minutes left, you know, that's a legitimate strategy. Townsend has no reason to play aggressively at this point, and I wouldn't consider it unsportsmanlike for them to play a, a defensive game. I mean, wow. Ohio, Ohio State, State already baiting. so aggressive. See, that's what I mean. They're going to get up into this neutral zone here, and they're just going to live there on Townsend. One throw every 15 seconds. You can see Shaw just waiting. Boom, right at his feet. Yep, there we go. we got to avoid those chest throws. And look, right back up to the line. Townsend just intimidating the other team. Well, they have eight balls. And, and I mean, this is a perfect situation for Townsend. If they lose at this point, uh, okay, I'm not really, okay. He made a call like they were going to do a group throw. That would be a bad idea. That would like, not be a good Townsend. decision for Townsend, no. What do we have, three? some change left uh, about eight or nine three six seven, I, i'm counting oh my god oh my god a point blank catch and then a Get, block i wish we could have gotten that on the stream but we did it was oh, a little bit to the left bad. one of ohio state 34 stringer caught a ball point blank blocked the next one also point blank huge swing for ohio state they really need to capitalize off this if they want to get into overtime yeah, and I mean, that's exactly, and that's the situation that TJ's been trying this whole game to stop. He got up there, he got overconfident, and he made a you know point-blank throw, and wow, going for it again, he's trying to do these point-blank catches. He is, li I mean, this is their tournament right here, so he is super hyped up for this last few minutes, but unfortunately didn't pay enough for him that time. I mean, it is unfortunate for him. He drove all the way down here, and, you know, if Townsend ends up winning this game, uh, he's going to be, Slinger's going to be out. It's going to be it for That's them. It's it single elimination at this point. And Ohio State is definitely the higher seed in this game, so. You know, I, nice when, when, I when I heard the seeding last night, uh, I, I heard them announce all the seeds. And when they announced Townsend seed, Townsend seed, I knew immediately that that was not representative of this team. I don't know if it was based on the matchups they had yesterday or I don't know what else they used to compute the seeds. But uh, that, that team plays at a much higher level than where they were seeded. 
all Townsend has to do is kneel and, and uh, 147, 147, 13 out now. Ohio State watching their tournament dip away because Townsend is not going to throw more than one ball. You can see they have complete ball advantage and a block from 21, getting in front of 31 who just threw his ball. I mean, this is, this is it for Ohio State. They just don't have the ball advantage. They've thrown too many away without the kills that are required for the throwaways that they're doing. Ohio State definitely getting stressed. There's a little bit of yelling. There's some kind of head shaking, uh, some questioning of some calls over the past couple of minutes. But, I mean, that's what you do. You're frustrated. This is it. I mean, after this, you go home. So and, I can totally And understand. Ohio State is one minute and six seconds away from going home. And, you know, when I was talk I talked to Jazzy before the game, uh, Jazzy had, he said, I, you know, I asked, what's your outlook for this game? He said, you know, I think it's going to be a quick one. Uh, I would say four to two with Ohio State winning. Ah. And the second he said it, I knew it was wrong. And I said, you didn't see the team that me and Ben saw yesterday. And I've seen that same team here today. <laughs> okay, Townsend having a little bit of fun there. <laughs> well, at this point, there's nothing Ohio State can do. Yeah. Townsend has every ball. So all they have to do. is ecstatic. Now, what I'm going to try to do. Uh, after this game, I oh, want to go down. Another kill. I want to be able to go down and talk to TJ, so we'll try to broadcast that just because uh, I'd love him, 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 him.